Welcome, my dear friends, to our lecture today, which is one of the basic lessons for learning geographic information systems. In this lesson, we will learn how to display an interactive map using ArcGIS map components in Visual Studio Code. We will cover the necessary steps to set up a basic web application. Our reference will be the well-known Esri developer website and add a legend for better data visualization. First of all, we must know what the educational objectives are that the programmer must be aware of at the end of the lecture. Learning objectives. Set up Visual Studio Code. Understand how to create a new project. Create basic HTML structure. Learn how to write the foundational HTML for your web map. Include ArcGIS libraries. Add references to the required ArcGIS scripts and styles. Load a web map. Use a web map item ID to load a map from ArcGIS online. Add a legend. Integrate a legend to provide context to the map data. Run the application. Verify that the map and legend display correctly. After we mentioned the educational objectives, there are some basic definitions related to this lecture that you should know. A web map is a map stored as an item in ArcGIS online. A web map item contains all of the configuration settings for the map in JSON format such as the base map layer, data layers, layer styles, and pop-up settings. Applications can access and display a web map using its item ID. Step-by-step -step instructions. Step 1. Set up Visual Studio Code. Install Visual Studio Code. Let's go to the Visual Studio website then scroll down a little on the website. We click on download Visual Studio Code. Then we choose the system we are working on. I will choose Windows 64 because it is a Windows system. Create a new folder for your project, for example Argus Map. Launch Visual Studio Code and open the newly created folder. Map. Map. Step 2. Create the HTML file. Write basic HTML structure. Open index.html and add the following code. First, we will add normal code to the HTML code. Second, we will add a reference to private libraries. In the head tag, add references to the ArcGIS core library and CSS and RRK's map components packages. Thirdly, we will add a map component. In the bot tag, add the Argus map component and specify the web map item ID. Fourth, inside the Argus map, add Argus legend. Step 3 Explanation of the code. HTML structure. The .doctp HTML declaration defines the document type. The HTML tag wraps the entire document. Meta tags. These tags help define the character set and responsive behavior of the web page. Style section. This contains CSS to set the padding and margin to zero. 
ensuring the map takes the full height and width of the page. ArcGIS References The link and script tags import the necessary styles and JavaScript libraries from ArcGIS. ArcGIS Map Component is a key part of the Components Library. Designed to display a web map within your application, this component acts as a container for the map and any additional components like the legend attributes item ed this attribute is crucial because it specifies the unique identifier of the web map you want to display the item id refers to a specific web map stored in argis online by providing this id the argis map component can fetch and render the corresponding map with all its layers and configurations. Item ID R is the unique identifier for a web map. You would replace this with the actual ID of the map you wish to display. Purpose of Argus Map Map Rendering It initializes the map based on the configurations associated with the provided item ID, rendering all data layers, base maps, and pop-up settings defined in ArcGIS Online. Integration with other components. It serves as a container for other map-related components such as the legend, pop-ups, and various controls allowing for a modular approach to map design. Dynamic loading. By using the item ID, the component can dynamically load different maps without needing to change the underlying code structure, making it easy to swap out maps as needed. How to get an itemite? Log into Agios Online. Access your ArcGIS Online account. Find your web map. Navigate to the content section and locate the map you want to use. Copy the item ID. The item ID is part of the URL when you view the map's details. For example, if the URL is using the ArcGIS map component with the correct item ID, allows you to easily display rich interactive maps tailored to your needs in your web applications. The component is a part of the ArcGIS Map Components Library. It is used to display a legend for the map, which provides essential information about the symbology and data represented on the map. The legend helps users understand the meaning of different colors, icons, and patterns used in the map layers. Attributes Position This attribute specifies where the legend will be placed on the map. Common position values include top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. In this case, position bottom right means that the legend will appear in the bottom right corner of the map. Purpose User Guidance The legend assists users in interpreting the data presented on the map, making it easier to understand the information being conveyed. Visual Clarity by clearly displaying the symbols used for different data layers, the legend enhances the visual clarity of the map. Step 4. Save the file. After adding the code, save the indexed HTML file. Step 5. Run the application. Open LibServer. If you have the Live Server extension installed in VS Code, right click on the index.html file and select Open with Live Server. 
If you don't have it, you can install the extension from the VS Code Marketplace. View the map. A new browser window should open, displaying the map with a legend in the bottom right corner. Conclusion Congratulations! You have successfully created a basic web application that displays a map using ArcGIS map components. You can further customize the map and explore more features of ArcGIS. Now, if we want to create a header for this map, and this header contains a log and a text. This is what we will take in the next lecture and learn how to display the view. We will meet you in the next lecture.